Breaking Tech News. In today's stories, the Every Closet has been granted access to the promoted closet update on Poshmark United States. Oh, that's very interesting, Ethan. Why don't you tell us more? Oh, Ethan, I will. Just stay tuned for a quick word from myself. Hello YouTube, welcome back to The Every Closet. My name is Ethan and along with my partner Stephanie, we are two full-time resellers of used clothing on Poshmark US, Poshmark Canada, and ebay.com. If that sounds like something you wanna do or something you're interested in, click subscribe down below to follow along on our journey. So as I mentioned in that ridiculous intro, we were just given access to the Promoted Closets beta program on our US closet. Now, if you don't know, Poshmark Promoted Closets is basically they will be allowing Poshmark sellers to pay a small additional fee to have their listings rank higher in search. That is a general overview of what Promoted Closets is, and we've done a couple of videos just talking about the initial announcement that Poshmark made and the impact that we were seeing on our sales when we weren't a part of the beta program. We had a lot of people who were both located in the US and Canada reach out to us saying that they were also a little bit concerned about what the promoted closets rollout has been like so far and what this could mean for their Poshmark stores moving forward. So whether you're a Canadian, Australian, uh, or an American who is currently feeling the effects of the promoted closets. Of course, this hasn't rolled out in any region other than Poshmark US as far as we know. We want to talk about what promoted closets currently look like because whether you sell on Poshmark US or a different region, this will eventually be coming to the other regions, it seems like. We noticed this morning that we actually do have access now to the promoted closets beta. For some reason, we were not sent an email about this, but we do have access to it now. We have the full dashboard and we activated the initial promotion. So I'm gonna start with just a quick overview of what the promoted closet dashboard actually looks like now that we have access to it. We've only turned it on today, so we'll do a follow-up video talking about the first three or four weeks of promoted closets because that is how much is included for free in the beta. Additionally, once you receive access to promoted closets, the dashboard is a expanded frequently asked questions that goes into a lot more detail and does answer most of the questions that we had when Stephanie released the first of our promoted closet videos, um, just talking about the announcement. So we do now have a lot of answers. Um, we have yet to see what the impact is going to be on our sales now as promoted closet sellers, but yeah. So first things first, let's talk about what our sales have been doing. Of course, we do sell on Canada and US, so our Poshmark Canada store kind of serves as a control because we do everything basically the same between Poshmark Canada and Poshmark US. And I can tell you with absolute confidence at this point, that ever since Poshmark US rolled out promoted closets, our US sales dropped off a cliff and honestly, they never recovered from that initial rollout of promoted closets. I, I am going to speculate and say it's because as I talked about in this video that I'll link up here, Poshmark basically broke search and was promoting listings onto searches that were entirely unrelated. So if you are curious about what search on Poshmark US has looked like for the last several weeks, check out this video. So our sales really fell off and it's only been in the last couple of days that our sales have started to recover. However, I will note that I think that has more to do with the kinds of listings that we've been making as opposed to any changes on Poshmark's end because we started listing items that we have had very quick sales on before and it has been some of those higher end quick flip items that have started selling on our US closet the last couple of days like within a few days of listing them. So I'm not sure that we can say Poshmark has fixed the algorithm. It might be a combination of the two factors um, but yeah sales have been really slow on Poshmark US compared to Poshmark Canada and compared to our eBay stores both of which have been doing great in the last few weeks. We will definitely keep you guys updated on Instagram and here on YouTube. Let's talk about the promoted closet setup process. So I'm gonna pop up on screen 
what it looked like for us. And this is how we knew we were admitted to the promoted closet beta. On screen, you can see just under my closet when you click on your profile in the top right hand corner, there is now a promoted closet beta. I, I was like, oh, that's new. So we clicked on that and I just assumed it was gonna say, uh, you're already in the wait list, kind of like the wait list for posh shows rolled out. But to my surprise, it actually did let us continue on with the promoted closet setup. So I'm gonna show you what all of those uh, different steps looked like in screenshots that I took before I finished the setup process. A couple things to note is when you do the initial setup for promoted closets, you have to have a credit card that has a US billing address. So this is gonna be of particular note to a lot of our viewers who I know have started cross-border closets like we did. Um, being Canadian, obviously our corporation is Canadian, our personal bank accounts are in Canada. So we have Canadian credit cards which don't have US zip codes attached to them. After I went through the process of signing up for a US credit card so we could actually activate promoted closets, it was pointed out to me that Sometimes you can just take out the letters of your Canadian postal code, keep the three numbers, and then add two zeros at the end, and sometimes that will work for a US billing zip code. I did not try that for this because I signed up for a US credit card and we have a US return address already with Ship It To, so it, it just made sense for us to have one. If you don't have a family member or someone with a US credit card that you can use, uh, to pay for your promoted closet, you will have to sign up, it looks like, for a US credit card. At least that is the way it is at the moment um, because you do need a US billing address in addition to your credit card number when you first sign up. It's important to note with promoted closets currently because it's in beta and they're collecting data from all of the clicks and everything to do with promoted closets currently as they're tweaking stuff. We, as part of the beta program, receive our first four weeks of promotion for free and and we get $25 of promoted closet, I, I don't know what to call it, like the fee for four full weeks is covered at $25. So with promoting your listings or your closet on Poshmark, you will choose an amount and then Poshmark will promote your closet for the week up until you hit that amount. And we're gonna talk about how Poshmark calculates how what you're charged because that is all in the frequently asked questions and we will get into that. But yes, you set the amount that you're willing to spend on promotion on a week by week basis, it looks like. And then Poshmark will just promote your listings in search until you hit that amount and then it'll stop. Um, but yeah, as part of the beta program, Poshmark is covering $25 per week for four weeks. And then after that, you set your rate, it looks like, and you will be charged on your credit card. So we're gonna run through the frequently asked questions that are, I believe, only visible from the promoted closet dashboard on Poshmark US. I don't think you have access to all of these answers in this level of detail unless you are in the beta program. So the first question is, what is Promoted Closet? And of course, Promoted Closet is a new seller tool that we are beta testing that helps sellers increase visibility of their listings. This is a paid marketing tool that allows listings in a seller's closet to be eligible for promotion to shoppers on Poshmark. So not much to say about that. That was what we knew going into Promoted Closets and Steph talked about that in our first video on Promoted Closets. Next up, how does it work? So listings from your closet will automatically be promoted to shoppers based on how closely they match a shopper's search and your weekly budget. When a shopper clicks on one of your promoted listings, they are taken to that listings detail page. This is pretty in line so far with eBay, but you're gonna see in a minute how Poshmark has kind of taken a different approach. But yeah, basically all that's saying is you pay to promote your closet, and then as buyers search for things that happen to match items that you have in your closet, those items will be promoted because you're promoting your closet, and then Buyers can click on the promoted listing, which will take them just basically exactly the same as before promoted listings if they just happen to find your item in search and then click on it. Next up, what listings can be promoted? All listings marked as for sale in your closet may be promoted as shoppers search for them. We cannot guarantee that every listing will be promoted as it is dependent on if shoppers are searching for items similar to yours. 
you do not need to specify which listings from your closet to promote. And then they give an example. If you have 100 listings marked as for sale in your closet, all 100 will be eligible for promotion and will appear as shoppers search for items similar to yours. You can see already the difference that they're taking from something like an eBay, whereas on eBay at the very bottom of your listing page, there is a section for promotion and you can select what ad rate you want to apply as a promoted fee on that specific listing. And you have granular control over promoting just one listing or just a certain number of listings. What Poshmark is saying is that you will have basically a bucket of money that you are going to use to promote your closet on a weekly basis. And then once you promote your closet, everything in your closet is promoted automatically. And then you basically are just getting charged as people click on your promoted listings and your listings will come up as promoted if a buyer is searching for something. And basically Poshmark will take a sampling of the promoted listings and push them into search. And if a buyer happens to click on your item through search when it's promoted, that's when Poshmark will charge you on that click. And so that's gonna be what consumes money from that bucket of money that you just kind of say, this is my promoted closet budget for the week. Next question up is where do promoted listings appear? And it says promoted listings can appear on Poshmark, on the web and mobile apps across search results and brand pages in prominent places reserved for promoted listings. This is interesting because in the previous video where I talked about what we were seeing after the promoted listing change, but before we were admitted into the beta program, I was talking about how you can only see if something is marked as promoted when you're on the web browser, you can't see it from the mobile app. And so what this is saying is that even though you can't tell an item has been promoted on the app, items on the app are still eligible for promotion. So that does go a long way to explaining why we've seen an impact across the board, because you have to think most people are probably using Poshmark from the mobile app and not on a desktop or laptop. We're all on our phones these days. That just makes sense. Um, and of course, by pushing it to mobile apps as well, Poshmark is able to collect more data from more people as they roll out this promoted closet feature. But it, it is interesting that it's not transparent yet on the app, which listings have been promoted. So I, I found that interesting. Next up is what is a weekly budget? And they say your weekly budget is the maximum amount of money that you are willing to spend in a given week. We will never charge you more than your maximum budget. The budget you set will apply to future billing cycles until you choose to change it. Example, if you set a $10 weekly budget, that $10 will be spread out over the course of the week to continuously promote your listings until you accumulate enough clicks to reach that $10 budget. So basically what I'm interpreting this as is you set your budget, Poshmark may hit it, it may not, depending on if people are searching for the items that you have listed. Now you would think most people who are listing things for sale Odds are across an entire Poshmark store, unless you only have five or six items in your store, you're probably gonna hit your budget over the course of the week, unless you set like a ridiculously high budget and you have very few items or your items just really aren't being searched for. Next question that they have here is how will I get charged? And it says you will only be charged for clicks on your promoted listings. Your weekly budget used, which is displayed on the manage tab of the promoted closets dashboard, will be updated as shoppers click on your promoted listings. You will be charged at the end of each weekly billing cycle for the actual amount of your weekly budget that was used. So again, this is just building on that last question of how exactly the charges are going to occur and whether or not you will actually hit that upper limit budget that you set. And this is very clearly saying, no, you won't necessarily hit that budget. And the previous answer also said we will never charge you more than the budgeted amount. So obviously you set your budget and then as long as buyers are searching for your items, Poshmark is gonna spread out over the course of the week continuously to make sure that it's not using a ton one day and then you have no budget left for like the next six days or something like that. The next question is how much do clicks cost? And it says the actual cost for each click varies based on factors like how many shoppers are searching for your item and the weekly budget that you have remaining. So based on what I know about promoted listings on eBay, what I would suspect for this is the product categories or brands that are most commonly promoted 
or that, I guess, because you're not promoting an individual listing, you're promoting a closet, it will be just the sheer number of listings from closets that have promotion available in a specific brand or category or whatever they're using to figure out what will show up in search is like a similar listing to what the buyer is searching for. Basically, the more inundated categories where there are just way more listings that are eligible for the promotion that are similar to search, those are the ones that are going to cost more per click for yours to come up, which just makes sense, supply and demand. Obviously, <laughs> I'm, I'm still a little bit like, I don't know how worth it this is going to be based on the concerns that I had from the previous video where I was talking about what we were seeing in search. Obviously, if they're continuing to admit people, they're still tweaking, they're still figuring it out, and I have hope that they're gonna make it a system that doesn't just destroy people who aren't promoting, um, because that would really suck. Um, but obviously, of course, you do want to be compensated with more sales for promoting. So it, it is going to be interesting to see how this rollout goes. And especially for a closet like ours, where we have a really big variety of like jewelry, high end, middle, low end stuff. Like we have some very expensive things and some very cheap things. And we have some really popular brands and some really obscure brands. And so I'm, I'm curious to see like how much the, our average cost per click is, because I imagine really popular product categories like sweaters or shirts or something like that and from really popular brands like Free People, Aritzia, Lululemon, like all of those, you're probably going to have a really high cost per click just because of the sheer number of listings that should theoretically match what the buyer is searching for. You would think you'd have to pay a little more for yours to actually come up in search. So that's going to be really interesting to watch. The next question is, what does weekly budget used mean? And so your weekly budget used shows how much of your weekly budget has been spent in any given billing cycle. At the end of the billing cycle, this is the amount you will be charged. That makes sense. This next question, how do I update my weekly budget? I think it's really interesting, in particular, the example that they give here. The example about updating your weekly budget says, if you start promoting at $20 a week on Sunday and increase your budget to $30 midweek, the new $30 budget will take into effect the next Sunday when you're billing cycle renews. So this is very clearly saying whenever your billing cycle started, it's a one week cycle from that date. So today is Tuesday. That means our billing cycle would run Tuesday to Monday. And if we update the amount that we're willing to promote for as our budget before next Tuesday, it'll take effect on Tuesday when our billing cycle resets. So that's interesting. Um, again, the beta program covers your first four weeks of promotion, and then I believe we're gonna have to choose the amount that we want to promote our listings for, and it's just automatically promoting at $25 on Poshmark, basically. So we, we don't have to pay anything for those first four weeks. And then the last question is, how do I cancel my promotion? And of course, it, it makes sense. You would wanna be able to cancel it if you decide that it's not working for your closet uh, or it's not worth it. So you may cancel any time before your next billing cycle by heading to account my promoted closet and then manage, manage promotion and clicking on stop promotion. And then it says, please note that this does not stop your current promotion, which will continue to run until the end of your billing cycle. If you choose to cancel during your free trial, your promotion will stop at the end of your free trial and will not renew. So it works on those weekly billing cycles. So if you're paying for promoted closet and you pay for it for five days and then you cancel, it's going to continue to run for those last two days until your billing cycle ends. And then you won't be charged again if you cancel it mid billing cycle. Um, and that's interesting about the free trial as well. So anyone who does gain access to the free trial, it will run for that full four weeks, it sounds like, regardless of if you cancel it on week two. So that's interesting. So yeah, that answers a lot of the questions that we had about promoted closets, specifically, how much are we gonna be charged for this? Is it gonna be on a per closet, as it sounds, basis? Or is it more like eBay where it's per listing? So obviously we have the answer to that now. We also have answers to how specifically we're gonna be charged for this. Is it per click? Is it only when a buyer purchases, like through eBay? And I, I got to say, I, I do think it is a, a little bit unfortunate that Poshmark has chosen to go with your 
charged from your advertising budget when a buyer clicks on your item. I, I honestly, I would rather that they did it more on an item by item basis, similar to how eBay does it, where you only pay if a buyer purchases through a promoted listing. Obviously, because Poshmark has decided to do a full closet promotion, then it, it wouldn't make sense based on the route they decided to go to do it only when a buyer purchases. Uh, and obviously, I, I think the way that they've chosen to go about it is a lot more similar to if you were going to do a Facebook ad or a Google ad or something, then you'd have like a sponsored post on Google or on Facebook or something like that, where you just put in your budget and it doesn't matter how many people actually convert from those promoted ads. It only matters what your budget is and then they kind of figure out serving those ads based on your budget. On the bright side, I guess, like trying to be the optimist, only being charged when someone actually clicks on the listing is good. I'm glad to see at least that we're not just setting an advertising budget and then being charged just by virtue of them serving promoted listings. Those listings actually have to be relevant enough in search for someone to click on them, which does at least go a long way to mitigating one of my biggest concerns from the last video I made talking about what we were seeing on Poshmark US, which is why would we pay for something if our items are going to show up in searches that are completely irrelevant, then obviously the buyers aren't even going to bother to click on our items because they have no relevance to what the buyer is searching for. So given that you're only charged when someone actually clicks on one of your promoted listings, and then it comes out of your advertising budget for the week. That makes more sense to me, especially during this rollout phase where obviously the algorithm is still quite broken, I think, based on what we're seeing in our sales. So yeah, as I mentioned, we just turned on promoted closets a couple of hours ago, so it hasn't been anywhere near enough time to tell you what the impact has actually been on our sales because there hasn't been one yet. But you better believe that now that we have access to promoted closets, we We'll be making an update video in one to four weeks, depending on what we see over the course of this beta with the just set amount of $25 per week for four weeks. I, I suspect that it, we're gonna have to take a good look at kind of what is the ratio of spend to sales converted. And you can see some of that information in the dashboard. Before we give you a full overview of what our dashboard actually looks like, we need to give it time to run. Uh, and so we'll be talking more about that in a future video on promoted closets. And again, whether you're on Poshmark US where this is directly affecting you or you're in another region, it's good to keep up to date to what's going on in Poshmark with promoted closets because you better believe Poshmark is gonna roll this out to all of us Canadians on our Canadian closets, to Australians, to all of the other regions eventually once they iron out the issues and the glitches. So yeah, hit subscribe down below if you want to keep up to date because you better believe we're going to be telling you our experience, good or bad. I, I hope it's good because yeah, our Poshmark Canada sales have been great and Poshmark US has been really quiet lately. Hopefully this helps change things. Uh, if you're currently selling on Poshmark US and you have access to promoted closets, let us know what your thoughts have been so far because obviously we just got access so it's it's going to be a bit till we have well-informed opinions on this. If you don't sell on US or you don't have access to promoted closets yet, what are your thoughts hearing about the changes that Poshmark is making? Uh, do you have any questions for us about things that we're seeing as US-based sellers? Leave them down below and we're happy to get back to you. Yeah. I think that's it. So, I don't know. Wow. Way to end the video well, Ethan. Thank you for stopping by the Every Closet Newsroom. We'll see you next week for more information on promoted closets. Oh, that's terrible.